<laughs> it's Sorry tough, isn't it? No, you're yeah. cool, you're cool. But. Yeah. Do you have a man? Mary Equinox, familiar. Please join me as we go to Glastonbury Tour on a pilgrimage to meditate, set some intentions, and join in with the fun and excitement of the Freedom March and all sovereign, empowered and free souls joining together to express love, peace and harmony in one of the most powerful vortices of Earth. May it commence. Much love. Welcome to Overy, home of the dilapidated building from many moons ago, and a church. And here we have the London Inn, which is so far away from London, but it's on the way to London. You see this beautiful thatched roof, isn't it lovely? And now we have the lorry driver stopping to get his breakfast roll from a regular haunt, one of the favourite local bakeries and I hide my phone so that people don't see me handling my phone while I'm driving like a nutter and now we leave Overy come back into the Shirelands of Somerset welcome to the moors this lone and brave cyclist see all of these beautiful floras everywhere Hello my family, Zach Hader here, and today is the Spring Equinox, March 2021, and I've come to Glastonbury to do the pilgrimage up the tour, to ground some energies, to receive some energies, and just to really anchor in my intentions that I set on December 21st, 2021. So this Equinox in particular, I see as quite significant just like December 21st, 2020 was very significant in that it was like a portal, a gateway. It carried this kind of alignment of basically the intentions and the energetics that we were in at that time of December 21, 2020, moving now three months later into this span now where we're at the equinox in spring of 2021. This three month window that we've just gone through it's essentially energetically been plotting our path for the next rest of our lives, essentially. It's like we've boarded our train of momentum and it's going to take us to wherever we're going. And so that's why I've come here today, to Glastonbury, because it's not too far. Some say it's the heart chakra of the world, some say it's the throat chakra, but it doesn't really matter. All I know is it's a highly potent, energetically charged gateway, portal, vortex. So here we go. Let's go on a pilgrimage. I'm ready. Got my, my, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is relevant. Got my meditation cushion, pilgrimtravels.co.uk. There we go. He does a good, he does them good. I highly recommend. So let's get this adventure on. And we've got this selfie stick that expands and yeah so i record along the way today i'm gonna keep my video active so let's see what the day entails much love
so here we go upward and onward begins. Up we go. Hello beautiful family. How are we doing today? So we have now made it to the top of the tour. I hope you can hear me okay. So as I was saying earlier on, Happy March 2020 equinox and today being the culmination point I invite everyone today to take some time to really get clear on what they want for themselves and what they want for the collective from this point forward for the rest of their lives as we have now each as we have now each boarded our collective trains or individual trains of momentum taking us vibrationally to where we're supposed to be. And so I ask, now is the time. Whatever this day brings for you, may it bring you joy and love and happiness and peace. Blessings to you all. So in regards to today being the March equinox, the culmination point of the December 21st solstice, what I feel is really important to do today, or a great thing to do today, is to really get clear on intentions. If you set intentions on the 21st of December 2020, now is a really good time to reaffirm them. As in this three month window, it's like December 21st, we boarded our own individual train and that train repre represents the momentum at which we're moving towards in our journeys, in our individual paths for the rest of our lives now, essentially. And the thing is with these trains, once you, once you get on one train, you're gonna ride, you can't, it's really hard to jump on another train, especially if the other train's going like 100 miles an hour faster, for example. And so it's all about momentum and vibration and energetic within. So what I suggest is, as I said, make one intention for yourself and one intention for the collective. What, what's one thing that you would like for yourself and what's one thing that you would like for the rest of the world? Or perhaps even multiple things. For me personally, it's really been my focus to time freedom. Time freedom has been a priority of mine for years now and I've realized that I've actualized time freedom in my life and I'm so grateful for it. 
Another thing that I would like to manifest for myself is just even more financial security, time freedom, they kind of come hand in hand, or passive income, shall I say, to support my family. That's another thing that's really important to me. My future family, shall I say. <laughs> but I can feel something's coming. What's one thing that I would like for the collective? There's many things I would like for the collective. The first one would be getting water to every single person that needs it, clean water to every single person that needs it, no matter where they are in the world. Second thing, most important, making sure that there's food in every single person's stomach. That's also really important to me. The third thing, is ensuring that everyone has some kind of home or some kind of place where they can at least feel somewhat secure or somewhat safe. Because there's many people out there that just don't do that or don't have that. The fourth thing that I would wish for for the collective would be world well, peace. What a classic, but it is coming. It is coming. What if I told you that this decade, in this decade, we will experience for the first time, possibly ever, almost, almost, world peace. Bold statement, I know, but let's see. And one more thing that I want to wish for the collective, as well as myself, this is both for me and for the collective, I wish to help people raise themselves up out of their emotional, mental states, <laughs> their self-imposed prisons. I would love for that. I would also wish to travel as well, but that's just gonna happen anyway. <laughs> I wish for everyone peace, joy, freedom, happiness, health, wealth, abundance in whatever they choose to focus on consciously. And I wish that everyone can find love within their own heart and build on it and build on it and build on it. Many are doing so, many will continue to do so. And I'm grateful for that. One hundredth monkey effect. Now there's one more thing that I intend for, for myself, but it's a bit double-edged because this thing where, while it benefits me in knock-on effect, it also benefits the collective, everybody else. This one thing that I wish for is that I continue to give myself more time and carve out that segment in my lifestyle for more inner work and more meditation is something that I'll put my hands up and say is something that I've neglected a fair amount in the past six months whereas before then I went for a six month span of meditating almost every day <laughs> I wish for this because I know that it's ultimately 
one of the most important things anyone can do for themselves in terms of improving their quality of life because it's an inward change it's an inward thing it then reflects not only inward but then everywhere outside of ourselves as well having an incredible knock-on effect freeing us up from our limitations whether that's emotional blocks or mental blocks because working with the emotions can even move mental blocks which they're so heavily and intimately intertwined yeah good uh yeah i did actually yeah i was able to kind of spin it around on the floor which was cool but is he doing reiki today oh awesome yeah sweet so he's using this incredibly powerful vortex to assist yeah right awesome yeah good it's really nice so what, what are you are you a citizen journalist that is exactly me. Yep. <laughs> is that it? Right. <laughs> that is it. What am I, so what am I doing? So it's the equinox, so happy equinox. Happy equinox. And the intention today on my part is to come here and to just really get clear on intentions really right. for the rest of my life. So there we go. <laughs> and sharing with a small audience. So hello everyone. So what about you? How are you? How is your day going so far? Day is going good. We drove up from Dorset, bought the dog. Oh nice. He's yeah. now with with um, these people that we just met. So I'm looking after the dog. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, no, it's great. I love it here. Excellent. Yeah. I love it here. Good energy, great vibes. Definitely. Uh, feel it. Yeah. So, yeah. We can do some Wim Hof now. Oh nice. Yes, yes. So let's get involved. Okay. Yeah. Can you, can you refresh everybody just to say right, so well, we're refreshing ourselves by doing this aren't we so we're gonna sit down we're gonna breathe in breathe out so you breathe in and like not fully out like eight percent out but you let go and you breathe in and then you let go and then we're gonna but we do the same in let go and then let go At the end, we're going to go fully out, and then we're going to do as many press-ups <laughs> as we can. With no air. With no air <laughs> in the lungs. So pull out and fully in. Whoa. Yeah, okay. And then we set our intentions and feel the full power. Oh, oh yeah, oh, come oh, on. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I wore sunglasses, innit? You wear sunglasses, the sun's going to shine! <laughs> 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 Alright, so So here we are at the tour and everyone has come from far and wide here we are today and it's a beautiful beautiful day the sun is coming out to play good morning there's a ceremony on top of the tour in half an hour that i need to get back for but first i need to go back to the well go for a toilet break and then i shall return so here we go I am you, and you are me. Compassion. Back to the well, round two. Begin. Slightly metallic, tastes like magic. So here we have a part of Glastonbury Abbey, which was pillaged by King Henry VIII back in whenever he was alive. And this is private property that you cannot enter. Good old England. All of the land is taken, but I appreciate the beauty that I'm able to still explore. Wonderful, magical place experience today. David cleaning station. Brainwash. <laughs> so here we are. Time for one final ascent up the tour. 
So today I'm making every moment a perfect moment as best I can. So let's go forth. Make lots more perfect moments with all these beautiful people up here. Because I feel like this will be the last of my pilgrimages up the hill, up the tour for today and possibly for quite a while. So let's make the most of it. So people really have, as you can see, come far and wide just to be here today. I am a representative of the draconian forces at play that wish to control. But little do I know that my power will not reach these empowered individuals here who are here in peace and love. Oops, sorry. But they're actually talking about a car in the way of the road. So Citizen Journalist has made the most of that. There's beautiful camps going on. And we are on the upwards. I've always had an issue with authority. What is in store for us today? At this time now, it was quite quiet earlier on. I heard there was a ceremony at half past 12 that I've now missed because of my toilet break. So, there's lots of drums going on. Let's see what's next. Hello, good hearts. How are we doing? I am well. Any on on my ship? Lots of bombs and things here, and dream catchers, and yeah. Do you have a website? No, I don't. No, we just sort of street trading last and three. Nice, nice. We've only just landed, so yeah, it's it's nice. Nice to see a few people. Nice faces. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. We know what's up. Bill Gates micro agenda. Beauties dotted around. Vid hoax. Covid vaccine. Toxic. We know what's up. What's this? In swab tests. Fifty nine nano chips. Wow. Doesn't make me want to get a vaccine or a COVID test now. Toxic vaccine. Where's Amanda Lawrence? Amanda, are you here today? Calling Amanda Lawrence. Come one, come all. Time of great ceremony. Like into like the numbers of and like what's real and what's fake, man. Because like the the news is not showing you what's real, mm. you know. That's so it. I'm just gonna have to censor out every time he's mentioned. In oh, this video. Yeah. No, it's tough, isn't it? No, you're yeah. cool, you're cool. But it just goes to show like, quite quite an eventful day. I mean on this equinox we have if you're watching this mate, you should be here man, celebrate you. Celebrate. Yeah. The energy here is quite palpable. Oh yeah, it's a powerful energy man. It's so nice, it's uplifting. You know, if you're feeling like a bit down or whatever and you come up here you just feel you just feel so much better. Yeah. You know?
also concludes the epic tale of the tour on this fine equinox of a spring of 2021. So glad I came. So glad. Didn't see Amanda Lawrence. Maybe she'll come out later. But yeah, this is magic. I'm going to go back to the well, drink some of the metallic but magical water. So I decree it would be nothing but sacrilege if I didn't fill up my water bottle from the well. If that wasn't epic and time well spent, I don't know what is. Oh, by Merlin's beard. Hello, everyone. So I feel like I've fulfilled my mission for the day, and now it is time for me to return home. Wishing you all a beautiful equinox. Coming to you from Glastonbury. Spreading out across the entire world. Solar system, galaxy and universe. Infinite love and blessings to you all. Peace be with.